For RC Link, I understand lower packet rate increases range. Can you explain output power range and how it increases range? Um, if I understand your question correctly, Quad City Barrier, Bay Area, higher output power is simply like shouting louder. Okay, so so sound is a, a, a phenomena that is similar in a lot of ways to RF, and it's more easy for us to understand. And a higher output power is simply shouting louder. And of course, the louder you shout, the further away someone can hear you. Uh, the actual answer is that we're making electromagnetic waves and those electromagnetic waves have energy and that energy decreases as the wave travels out through space. And so the more energy or the more power you put into the electromagnetic transmission, the further it will go before it's too weak for you to detect it. Is that, is that, I, I'm not 100% sure I, answer, I understood your question, but uh, I, hope I, I hope I did. Uh, oh, here we are again with Quad City Bay Area. Another $5. Thank you, Quad City, for more donations. Uh, what I mean is packet rate more important for range of penetration than output power. So Quad City Bay Area, we can 100% answer this question. We can 100% answer this question in a numerical and definitive way. If we go to this page, here we go. This is the table of received sensitivity for the different packet rates. And what you can see is the sensitivity limit. There, don't, don't, don't move the screen. The sensitivity limit, 104 dBm, 104 dBm, etc. So let's go down here. At 50 hertz, no, okay. At 50 hertz, we have a sensitivity of minus 115 dBm. Okay, what does that number mean? Don't worry about it right now. We'll not, we'll not go into that. At 100 hertz, we have a received sensitivity of minus. I don't like that number. That's 2 dB. That's uh, let's try. Minus 112. Oh, that's better. At 100 hertz, at 150 hertz, we have a sensitivity of minus 112 dBm. Do you see that that's a difference? 115 to 112. That's a difference of 3 dB. 3 dB is a doubling or halving of signal strength. So, if you were at 500 milliwatts, at 50 hertz, you would get the same range as if you were at one watt at 150 hertz. You have gained 3 dB of power and you have lost 3 dB of sensitivity. Those two things exactly cancel each other out. So you can ask the question, if I go to 250 hertz, that's 108 dBm. If I was at 50 hertz, that's 115 dBm, and I switch to 250 hertz, how much more output power do I need to exactly equal out the difference in range that I lost by going to higher output power? 115 minus 108, that's a 7 dB difference. You need 7 dB more output power to get the same range at 250 hertz as you do at 50 hertz. That's, that's the answer. I actually have a video. Well, how will I find this video? This, that's the video. I've never been. Um, this is the video, the weird, oops, the weird relationship between range and output power. If you want a deep dive on this topic, this is the video that you want.